Paint Sacks in Course 2, Lesson 59, is on adding integers on the number line. So first we're going to talk about absolute value. Absolute value tells me how far a number is away from zero. Okay, positive and negative numbers have a sign and a value. The absolute value of a number is its distance from zero on the number line. So the absolute value for A, okay, negative 2.5 with those two straight lines. The two straight lines means you need to find the absolute value. So the absolute value of that is 2.5 because it's still 2.5 units away from zero. It just happens to be moving to the left. For B, for 100, absolute value of 100, the absolute value of 100 is just 100 because it's 100 steps away. C, negative one-half absolute value is equal to one-half. And then D, the absolute value of zero, is just going to be zero. Okay, this next one is, it wants to find the absolute value of three minus five. So first I have to solve it and then find the absolute value. So three minus five is going to equal negative two. Now remember you do that by thinking five minus three which is equal to 2, and then you put a negative in front of it because the 3 comes first. Okay. Well, now I need to find the absolute value of that. So the absolute value of negative 2 is equal to 2. On B, it's going to be 5 minus 3, which is 2, and the absolute value of 2 is equal to 2. Okay. So this one, show each addition problem on the number line. So if I draw my number line, I start at zero, and I draw my number line. I have negative three plus a positive five. So I start at zero, and I go to the left, three, negative three. Okay? And then I'm going to go plus a positive five. So positive, I'm going to move right on my number line. So I'm going to move to the right five places. One, two, three, four, five. My answer is two. Okay. For the next one, I have negative four plus a negative two. So here, I'm going to start at zero and go to the left, negative four. One, two, three, four. 4, and then it's going to plus a negative 2. That means I'm going to have to go to the left two more places, which I don't have room on here, but I would, be neg I would go to negative 6. So my answer would be negative 6. Okay. Here we have Carmen borrowed $5 from her sister. Later, Carmen received a check for $25 from her grandmother. After she repays her sister, how much money will Carmen have? So we can use negative numbers to represent debt or borrowed money. So after borrowing the $5, Carmen had necessarily negative $5 because she's borrowed it. She has to pay it back. She then receives $25 from Grandma. When you add a negative 5 plus a positive 25, you're going to end up with $20. Or you would think $25 minus the $5 she borrowed, which is equal to the $20 she has left. Okay. This one, a group of hikers began their trip at the desert floor, 126 feet below sea level. When the group camped for the night on the ridge, 2,350 feet above sea level, what was the elevation gain from the start of the hike to the campsite? So if we draw an elevation table, um, sea level is zero, zero feet. So they started down here at 126 feet below sea level. They are then going to climb up to 2,350 feet. So I need to figure out how much is between that one 
126 feet below sea level to the 2,350 feet above sea level. So first, I have to go from 126 to 0. So that's going to be 126 plus the 2,350 feet they continue to climb. So I'm going to add 2,350 feet to figure out the total amount that they climbed. Okay, 6, 7, 4, 2. So they climbed a total of 2,476 feet that day. Okay, and that's it for this lesson.